Hey LEGO fans, it's Mike the Brickster, and today I've got one of the 2013 Galaxy Squad sets to review. It's number 70706, Crater Creeper. Comes with 171 pieces. You get two minifigures. You get Chuck Stonebreaker and one of the alien bugoids. And this set costs about $20 US. And then look at the back of the box. You get the Creeper, which also has flick missiles on there and an opening and closing jaw. And you also get one of the hovercrafts, which also has flip missiles on there. Okay, so let's unbox it and see what's inside. Okay, so we get one, two, three, four packs. You get a few stickers there and the instructions. Okay, so let's build it. And there's the completed set. Now let's take a look at the details. Okay, so first we'll look at the hovercraft that you get. Take a look around the outside of it. Uh, you did have a couple stickers on here. That piece right there was a sticker. And then also the dash right there, that was a sticker. You have the two blasters here, which you can either put in the minifigure's hands, or they also attach right here. And then we do have the dual flip missiles. And now we'll look at the creeper. Um, take a look around the outside of it. There's a front with the claws, the pincher type thing. Other side. Back view. And you have the bugoids weapon that you can clip on in the back there and we'll take a look at the top and the bottom um, the two legs in the front and the two legs in the back don't move so there's there's no movement to them uh, but the two legs in the middle actually do move so you can just kind of move them around like that you've got the dual flip missiles up here And then we did have a few stickers. You had this as a sticker back here. And then a sticker right there for the instrument panel. And then do also have the, the jaws, the pinchers. And all you do is just kind of pull those back. It works pretty cool. You can actually put the hovercraft and it'll hold them. Or you can stick a minifigure in the claws and it'll hold him too. And now we'll take a look at the minifigures. This is Chuck Stonebreaker, comes with his helmet. He's also got the two blasters that were on the hovercraft. He has the double-sided face, has the mask on the one side, regular face on the other. And then here is the alien bugoid. He comes with a sonic blaster. And then he's also got the one piece molded head. And then there's a better look at the graphics because there's the one piece that comes down in the back. So this is a nice galaxy set. 
This is on the lower end of sets, you know, about a $20 set. Uh, but you do get a pretty nice bug in that. It, it's pretty good size too, you know, with the pinchers on it and everything, it's really long. And then the wide, you got the wide legs. So you get a pretty good size bug for $20. Uh, you also have the pinchers on it, which that's really cool. Cause then you can just, you can like stick minifigures in there or just stick anything in there. Um, so that's a nice action feature on, on this. You also have the flick missiles, so you have something to shoot on this. The legs don't move. Well, the two front legs, two back legs don't move. The middle ones do, which I don't know what purpose that's gonna serve. You also have underneath in the back here, um, a little clip for the alien's uh, gun. So when if he's driving or whatever, you can just stick it back there, click it on. Uh, Chuck's little vehicle, eh, it's so-so. You know, there's a lot, lot of little design features on it, so it's not just kind of boring, plain looking. Uh, but it is nothing great either. And then you did have his blasters on there, so you could put the blasters on here or put them in his hands or whatever. So, you know, it's a nice set for a $20 set. You get a pretty good bug, and it, it looks really cool. The pinchers gives you something to do with it. And then you do to get um, two minifigures, you get one of the alien bugoids and then you get Chuck in there. So you got a good, you got a bad, bad guy in there. So not a, not a bad set. So leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of this set. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next build.